so as soon as you open your alteryx workflow software you can see this screen so this is called canvas these are the tools that are available for creating workflow and then there are certain other information so now to create a very simple workflow we will place input data node and as soon as you place input data node you can see this option pops up so basically this tells uh, the place from where we'll get the input to the workflow so it could be a file or it could be a, your connection to the database so in my case i'll be connecting to my sql database so in order to connect to my sql database we have to create a new connection so go to new odpc connection and you have to select the source name so my, in my case my sql database name is igen2 i'll select that i have to use my credentials of sql database to connect to that or log into that and once you that or do that you have to press ok press ok so now you can see this exclamation mark so basically it says there is no place we are getting input so as i mentioned earlier it could be anything your text file excel file sql query anything wherever you feel you want the input in my case i'll write a sql query so as soon as you press that you get the screen write your sql code and test if it is successful or not or if there are any errors in the query so once you get this window you can see it is successful connection was successful and there were no errors in the query press ok press ok and then click on the canvas as soon as you do that uh, the error is gone because obviously it has input information so other few things that you have to keep in mind while uh, writing query to a input node is to check this checkbox which is read uncommitted why we do this is to make sure this particular workflow or this particular query does not block other uh, workflows or queries so this is very important to keep in mind once that is done we can use multiple options to create a workflow but in my case since it is a very simple workflow i'll just create a very basic one and write my output so this is my output node and now again we get this option like where we have to write the output so in my case it would be a simple text file so i'll just select place where i need to save this thing this file so this would be mostly in my doc and then this is right test dot txt okay so now you can see another error so basically it asks the file format over here again so as soon as you select that and give other details like what kind of delimiter you want and what kind of file it is and then again click on canvas and you can see the error is gone now now in order to execute a workflow you have to press this button which is run workflow and you can see uh, whenever you run uh, play press that button or play that button this windows pop uh, this window pops up so basically it tells whether it is executed perfectly fine or were there any errors you press ok and then the result set you can see in result window so here we can see we wrote a text file so we can click on that and see how the file was so you can see we mentioned pipe delimiter so we have pipe delimiter and this is dot text file so yes that's it for creating a simple workflow and creating a database connection Thank you.